It is by knowing that this life is a dream. It is quite cliché, I know. But it is true. If it is not a dream then the worldwide suffering is simply unexplainable. Because in every single religion, the God is portrayed as a benevolent and loving one. So, how can a loving and benevolent God put so many innocent humans through endless suffering? The best description comes from spiritual teachers like Neville Goddard. That we are divine beings, playing the game of life. We are eternal dreamers dreaming non-eternal dreams. If that is the case. Then we can be at ease. Rest assured in the knowing that it is all good. Similar to when you wake up from a nightmare. It may have deeply disturbed you. But the moment you wake up. You are relieved. This journey is simply to wake up to this waking dream. This is what awakening is. Spiritual teachers are simply just awake in this dream. So, they can easily disregard suffering or just see it for what it is. An illusion. This might not sound very logical, but that's how it is. The more you ascend in spirituality, you realize that logic doesn't work very well. Logic keeps a lot of people where they are. Simply because our mind doesn't know the full picture. So, you may say. It is only logical for me to be in poverty, because just look at my surroundings. Look at my parents. I have nothing. It will take me years to get out of this hellhole. Now, this is completely logical. But this is your prison too. You see, the more you become awake, the less you rely on logic. Because dreams aren't logical. Are they? Dreams are quirky, weird, and fantastical. But when we are in them, we absolutely do not question their reality. Do we? Unless you are a lucid dreamer. You absolutely are absorbed in that dream. You cannot tell it apart from this reality. So, logic doesn't work in dreams. But in this waking dream, logic is an important part of our life. But depending on logic will keep you shackled if you solely rely on it. You must transcend the mind to wake up to this dream. This is why, people who achieve unbelievable feats are called dreamers. They put logic aside and go on full force with faith and nothing but a dream. So, the point is. Give yourself a break. Let your mind ease. It is alright. You are in a dreamland. Which is solidly real. Don't get me wrong. I am not trying to downplay your suffering. We have all been through dreadful experience. And dream or not. They are painful. But you can still allow yourself to feel this deep and profound knowing. That we are here to play. The drama of life. And the good thing is, you can control it. Just like when you wake up in a dream, you can control it. Similarly, the moment you become aware of your thoughts. You can begin to change and control this dream. This is when it will start to become fun for you. It is all about not giving in to what you see and know. Discard all limiting beliefs and so-called truths of life. Does the hard facts and truths matter if it is a dream? No. You can choose to have the experience you want. Rather than let it play as is and keep on suffering. You deserve all that you want. You are entitled to it. But you must let go of the mental patterns that do not serve you anymore. And love for yourself. Let go of all that is hurting you. So that you can make space for what you want. Be easy on yourself. And then begin to believe in the desires that you have in your heart. Remember that logic doesn't work in a dream. So, just accept your desires and the life that you want to live. And see how this dream changes for you. The change might be drastic or slow. But let that not phase you. Try it for a few days. Start with small things. Assume what you want and then accept that you have it. And try to see everything in your life in harmony to yourself. If you begin to see everything always working out for you. Then the dream will begin to conform to it. Slowly but surely, you can turn it into a cozy and comfortable overall experience. Do good, expect good, and believe in good. Then the contents of your consciousness will come back to you. I have made another video about the topic of being okay, inspired from Eckhart Tolle's teachings of being present. It is a meditative video. Watch it next and you will feel a certain sense of quietness and stillness. That may show you a glimpse of the fact that it really is a dream.